Hello my amazing junior school artists, welcome back to another week with art. I'm so excited that I get to talk to you guys today and I bet you're all sitting there wondering what on earth was that video all about Mrs. Dobson? Well, that video was an amazing example of the kind of art that we're going to be learning this term. It's a really big word but I want you to try and say it after me. Ready? Surrealism. 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 Awesome. Do you remember last time we learned about the fancy French artist Claude Monet and he was all about impressionism which was about nature and outside and beautiful colors. Well surrealism has beautiful colors as well but it's quite different. It's weird, it's wacky, it's kind of like the things that you see in movies which I think you guys are going to find super interesting. So we learned about Monet last term, but this term we are learning about a new artist whose name is Salvador Dali. This guy, right here. He was super weird and wacky, look at his crazy moustache. People were blown away just by looking at him. And his paintings had the same effect. Now he was born in 1904 in Spain and his paintings had never been seen before the style that he created. They blew everyone's minds. Surreal paintings like these ones are paintings that are look they look like they are real but they're not. So I've got a quick way that will help you memorize what surrealism is all about. So <clears throat> surrealism is all of the art that looks real but isn't real. It looks like it's been dreamed and it blows our minds. Good job. So, surrealism is all the art that looks real but isn't real. It looks like it's in our dreams and it blows our mind. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a painting that looks real but isn't real. Looks like it could be a dream and it'll blow your mind. If you don't have paints at home, that's okay. You can use colored pencils and text to color it in. But we are going to do a painting inspired by one of Salvador Dali's crazy paintings. Are you excited? Let's go. This is a painting that we are going to be inspired by. Check out how crazy among the elephant legs are. Does that happen in real life? No. So we know it's real because it looks like it could be real, but it's not. The colors are super bright and crazy. Maybe not as bright as it would be in real life as well. So we are going to do some animals with really long legs, with some really bright colors, and I'm very excited about it. Let's give it a go. So this is what we are going to be creating today. This is a wonderful, bright, colorful artwork based on the elephants on one of Salvador Dali's artworks that we have looked at. So grab your equipment and let's get started. Is this, all we do is we're going to draw the top of the elephant's head nice and high in the sky. We start with a nice curved line over here like this. And then we're going to draw the tusks. Just coming out the side in two pointed directions like that and then we just draw a little box over the top for where the tusk fits in awesome next up is going to be drawing the actual trunk itself so connecting where this line end under ends under the tusk sorry we're just going to draw a line that dips down sticks up and curls around like that wonderful now we're going to draw the little opening of the tusk, I mean the trunk, sorry. And then we're gonna go down around and we're gonna go up, making sure we go on the other side of where the tusk goes into the skin. Then we're just going to draw the mouth where the mouth opening is just by doing a little line down there like that. Perfect. Now we're gonna draw the ear. So to start doing that, we put a line up the top and it curves over and meets the top of the head. We then just draw a squiggly line that goes down and around and should wrap up underneath like that. Awesome. And we're also just going to draw the mouth in place there. Cool. Okay, the next step is going to be to draw a second ear just by drawing a little line coming in this way. And we're going to hoop it over and curve around and go down. We're also going to draw the back and the bottom of the elephant now. So making sure we're in line with the head, we're just going to go straight, 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 and then curve around like that. Making sure we don't go too much further down than the trunk. Probably about the same height. 
Next, we're going to connect the mouth and the ear. And then we are going to actually put some nice decorations on the elephant's head. So before we draw the eye in, we're just going to draw what looks like a bandana over the top. So if I draw a line that curves around, but doesn't go to the edge of the ear. We're then going to connect these two with a curved line. And we're just going to draw some more curved lines underneath like so. We're then going to draw some dots for some decorations. You could add some other patterns. And I'm going to quickly draw in the eye. So I'm just going to put the eye right in here above where the tusk goes. To do that, I'm just going to draw a curved line and then not going to go along the bottom like that, like a football. We are actually going to draw a circle inside of there and a little dot in the middle to bring the eye out. We're going to add some tassels to the bandana. It's looking awesome. Cool. I also just want to add some finishing touches to the ear by drawing another couple of lines inside like that. Alright, so the very next step is going to be drawing the tail and the tops of the legs. So for the tail, it's really easy. Just draw a line coming out the side that kind of squiggles down like that. And another one that meets up with it. And then we need to put some hair on the end of the tail just by drawing some lines like that. Awesome. Now, for the legs, we're actually going to start at the bottom of the ear. And we are going to draw a line that goes down and inwards like that. And all we do is we draw another line that connects. Well, it looks like it's going to... All we do is we draw another line that connects in this direction. And then we are going to draw a line that goes this way. But for this back leg, we're actually just going to draw a little hook that goes down like that, just to show like the back of the elephant's leg. Next, we're going to connect the belly. So all we do is from almost the bottom of this line to almost the bottom of this line, we're going to draw a curved line like so. And now we are actually going to draw the legs of the elephant. Remember, this is a Dali. Um, Remember, this is a Dali painting, so we want it to look really long and elongated and a little bit crazy. So we're just going to draw where the tops of the legs should go. So I want the elephant walking forward, so I'm just going to draw some legs coming out. Tops of the legs going this way, and then some going this way for the back. And then I'm going to have some going this way. And I'm going to have this one pretty much going straight down. Now your legs can look a little crazy because remember, this is surrealism so it doesn't have to be perfect. We are then, I'm just going to move this out of the way so you can see down the bottom. We're then going to connect the legs to the bottom of the page. So we're then going to go down, down. We're then going to go down, down. Down, down. Now, we're going to make the feet flare out a little bit to make them look more like elephant's feet. So I'm just going to bring them around like this. Awesome. And then draw three little hoops. So one, two, three. 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 And finish off the feet. Wonderful. And there is our elephant's body done. We're just going to draw a nice little mat over the back as if someone was sitting on them just by drawing a rectangle with a curved bottom. And then again, some little tassels coming off. And you could draw a pattern in here if you like. Now, I am going to draw a horizon line to make the elephant look really tall. We want the earth to look like it's really close to the ground. So I'm just going to draw a line that goes straight through here. You could draw some mountains or some trees. And I'm going to put a semicircle here for a sunset. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get out my paints and I'm going to paint this lovely elephant picture with the sunset in the background with bright colours. It's up to you how you want to do your colouring, but you can follow along with me if you would like. But I'm excited to see what you come up with.
fine. So I've colored it in with my paints and the final step is now to outline it with my marker. And here is our finished product. We have an awesome looking elephant with an awesome bright sunset with his nice long legs, just like Salvador Dali's elephant artwork. I really hope you guys had a great time doing it. I can't wait to see your finished work. So don't forget to upload it to Seesaw and I will see you guys very soon. Have an awesome day. Bye.